Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about combining like terms, and we want to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, negative 3 times 10b plus 10 plus 5 times b plus 2, okay? Well, I want to distribute this, right? And so, uh, or simplify this, right? And uh, inside the parentheses, no like terms, nothing I can do. But the negative 3 I can distribute. So negative 3 times 10b is negative 30b. Plus negative 3 times 10 is negative 30. Plus 5 times b is 5b. And 5 times 2 is 10. So we have negative 30b plus negative 30 plus 5b plus 10. Let's rearrange put our like terms next to each other. Negative 30b plus 5b plus a negative 30, plus 10, okay? Well, if we want to simplify this, let's look at our number line really quickly. We have negative 30 plus 5 units, right? Here's 0. 5 units, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Yeah, 5 units. That's made a negative 25 if I add 5 units to that, okay? So we have a negative 25b here, and hopefully you can do the next one, right? Negative 30 plus 10 is negative 20. And we can write this more cleanly and adding a negative is just subtraction. So we have negative 25b minus 20. And that is our final answer here. So let's recap. We distributed the negative 3 across, oh, didn't write both arcs. Negative 3 times 10b is negative 30b. And negative 3 times 10 is negative 30. 5, B, 5 times b is 5b and 5 times 2 is 10. We use the commutative property to rearrange and put our like terms next to each other. So we have negative 30b plus 5b plus a negative 30 plus 10. Negative 30b plus 5b is just a negative 25b. You can use that method, but hopefully you're getting better. You don't have to do that in your head. And I did it in my head on this one. Negative 30 plus 10 is just negative 20. So adding a negative is the same thing as subtraction. So we have, and that looks cleaner, negative 25b uh, minus, it's being looking cleaner than this too, isn't it? Uh, negative 25b minus 20, and that is our final answer.